It was in 2002 when three video game giants, namely Sega, Nintendo, and Namco, joined forces to develop an arcade board. Most of the hardware was provided by Nintendo since the brain of the joint arcade board would end up utilizing a GameCube. Indeed, since Nintendo was no longer in the business of producing arcade cabinets, the company decided it was best to license its property to Namco and Sega. The name Triforce is a direct reference to the magical object sought in Nintendo's popular The Legend of Zelda series. Altogether, Namco released four games for the Triforce system. The most popular games were Mario Kart Arcade GP1 and Mario Kart Arcade GP2. Sega, on the other hand, released nine games for the Triforce system. Their most popular games were F-Zero AX, Virtual Striker 2002, and Virtual Striker 4. In addition, Namco created a Star Force games for the Triforce system, but it was never released. Many retro gamers are under the false assumption that the Dolphin emulator can play Triforce games. Unfortunately, it can't. Instead, a separate fork was developed from Dolphin to play Triforce games. While initial progress was made with some of the games, development sadly ceased several years ago. In recent months, many Batocera fans have requested the addition of the Triforce system for Batocera. The developers listened, and after some extensive work, it was finally released for Batocera 34. From among the 13 Triforce games ever created, two of the most popular games are up and running in Battle State 34. In this tutorial, I will show you how to quickly set up and configure the Triforce system so that you can play Mario Kart Arcade GP1 and Mario Kart Arcade GP2. Are you ready? Let's do it! Greetings everyone and welcome to Battle Center Nation. So delighted you can join us today. I'm sure you're just as excited as I am with the Triforce system. So let's get started. Best place to start is of course with the wiki page from Battle Center website. Uh, and this is what you will see. You can notice here that uh, it does look like the GameCube system. Right? Scroll down and you'll get some important information. Uh, foremost, these are the accepted file extensions for the games. Okay. They will only accept these file formats. Uh, you will not need any BIOS to get these games up and running. Uh, where to put the games? You put your games in the Triforce folder within your games folder. Okay. Uh, and unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier, only two games are working. Uh, this is not working within the built-in emulator within Bato Set. Now, this game is working, Mario Kart Arcade GP1, but you will need a save state file to be loaded up in order for it to work. Okay, and you need to put it right here. And I'll show you that as well, okay? And Mario Kart Arcade GP2 also works without any problems, okay? This does not work, nor do any of these games work as well. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why is it we only have two games from the whole system? Well, the problem is this. The Triforce branch within Dolphin has not been worked on in over eight years. This is the last time anyone built anything for the Triforce system eight years and four months ago. That's the reason why we only have two games working. Now, in terms of where you can find these games and everything, uh, go to our favorite little website, arcade.org, and I want you to type this, Triforce Games for Batocera. Type that, hit go, uh, and you only will find one hit. And go ahead and download that. Once you download that, this is what you will see. You will find all three files that you will need to get this up and running about to set up, okay? Uh, make sure you unzip everything. And again, these two files will go into the games folder, uh, and this one will go into a special directory, which I will show you where to copy that, okay? So let's turn on about to set up, and let's get Triforce up and running. All right, so we're in about to set up. Let's go ahead and press F1 on your keyboard, uh, and let's go into a games folder. Once again, you need to copy your games to the Triforce system right here. Uh, and there's everything right there. And let's go back to the share folder. And this is the other file that we need to copy in the right location. So let's go ahead and go into 
user data right there system configs right there dolphin trap force right there state saves right there and that's where you copy it all right and that's it rather easy all right and then once you do that just go ahead and close it and then you can press the space bar or stop button game settings update games list now if you have done everything right you should be able to see the triforce system and there it is right there okay click on it and of course you will see your two games Unfortunately, we can get these games scraped as well. Hold on the A button and go into scrape. Okay, and with built-in scraper, I found these right here. Okay, everything is there. Once you got your game scraped, go ahead and press the select button on your gamepad and go into advanced system options. And from here, you can of course choose your settings. Decoration will allow you to have it with the bezels or you can also have it a widescreen. Rendering resolution, depending upon your system, you can really crank it up. Let's go ahead and go with 1080p with this system. Aspect ratio, if you leave it on default settings, you'll have the bezels. Let's go down, rumba, I'll leave it on auto. Performance hacks, says it needs reviews. I just go ahead and leave it on auto. Use pad profiles. Once again, you really don't need to mess with anything here. Here, of course, you can also crank up to how visually it looks. If you got a pretty good system, you can really crank it up. I'll leave it at 4x. With this setting, I just leave it on auto. Also auto. Also, you can crank it up right here as high as you want. Okay, I'll leave it on 4x. It looks good. Low custom textures. As far as I'm aware, uh, there are no custom textures, but I might be wrong about this. I'll also leave it on auto. Widescreen hacked, leave it on auto. Also, all these are auto, okay? V-Sync, let's go ahead and turn it on. And this will also leave it on auto, all right? All right, let's go ahead and try it out. Before we load up this game, you have to remember we do need a safe state for this game to work properly, which we already copied in that special directory. So let's go ahead and load it up. So to load up the safe state, go ahead and press the hot key and then the north button. On the Xbox controller, it'll be the Y button. And there it is. It loaded it up. And then from there to enter a coin, you hit press select button. And from there, go ahead and select no. And then yes. And from there you can stop playing. Mario.
and that's how it's done by the way the R2 button is the gas pedal and make sure you also continue to save your progress of the game by going to the hot key and the west button on the Xbox controller that'll be the X button hot key X button will continue to save the progression uh, of your game all right let's go ahead and select the next one this one is rather straightforward you don't need any safe state to start the game but you can use save and low state to maintain the progress of this game all right let's check it out here we are live from Yoshi Park Course 2 long straights give rise to high speed item battles the most talented driver is Mario what thrilling techniques will we see Mario, perhaps a little late. Mario takes a shot. No, tires can't maintain stable air pressure. Mario picks up points in one stretch. Mario shot an item. Bowser, this frame blocks your view. Mario shoots. Boo! Did it miss? Mario! A funny mask blocks your portrait. Mamechi blocks the attack with a shield. Mario takes a shot. Bullseye! Mario makes a perfect pass. Mario picks up points in one stretch. Mario now completely in the lead. Others are trying to catch up. Mario picks up points in one stretch. Mario, what a big lead. Now on to the final lap. Mario, is it possible to maintain the lead? Maintains the top spot. Mario is easily pulling away from the number two card. Mario cut through with speed. Conservative driving keeps the driver in the lead. Mario in top and final corner. Wow, fast, really fast. And that's how it's done. Uh, compared to the regular Mario Kart games, uh, these tracks look absolutely gorgeous, very colorful, very vibrant. I'm really enjoying these games. I think you will too. Now then, if you want to play this in a widescreen format, go ahead and select the uh, select button on your gamepad. Go into Advanced Options. Go into Decorations. Go into None. And then go out of there and then go to aspect ratio and then choose 416 by 9 or stretch the window. Now let's go ahead and give it a shot. Everyone is off to a strong start. Picks up points in one stretch. Waluigi takes a shot. Did it miss? Everyone is planning their final push. Waluigi takes a shot. Poor aim. 
Waluigi picks up points in one stretch. Awesome! Wario, Waluigi, I can't believe the move this card has made. Waluigi, shoot the basin. Did it miss? Waluigi, shot an item. Peach, Needle Bomb has blown the tires. Waluigi maintains the top spot. Waluigi, Needle Bomb has blown the tires. Wow! Luigi, Waluigi, great dead heat. Waluigi, tires can't maintain stable air pressure. Waluigi is pulling away now. Waluigi picks up points in one stretch. The race is at the halfway mark. Waluigi cut through with speed. Waluigi is dominating the top spot. Now on to the final lap. Waluigi, is it possible to maintain the lead? Waluigi, now completely in the lead. Others are trying to catch up. Now into the final quarter. Waluigi, outstanding run! And that's how it's done. If you also want to look at the manual, go ahead and press the A button on your gamepad and go into View Game Manual. And you can check out the nifty little details about this arcade machine. Alright? Alright. If you like Mario Kart games, then you will absolutely love these two games from the Triforce system. I truly enjoyed them, and I gotta tell you, it definitely gets harder as you progress through the games. Now then, if you're lamenting the fact that you can only play two games from the Triforce system, well, I've got some good news. I've been experimenting and testing things out these last few days. What if I told you that F-Zero AX and two games from the Virtual Striker series are also working in Triforce? That's right. While these new games may not work with the built-in Triforce emulator found in Batocera, there is a way to get these games up and running in Batocera. How? Find out next time in Batocera. Well, that's a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really truly help me out with YouTube's algorithms. If this is your first time watching a video from Batocera Nation, then I highly encourage you to check out YouTube channel, as well as our website, BatoceraNation.com. That will give you a great overview of what Batocera is all about and whether this will meet your emulating needs. Finally, I want you to know that I've got a lot more videos coming up, so therefore please consider subscribing so that you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest in Batocera. Indeed, as I mentioned earlier, next time I will be covering how to, we can play three more Triforce games in Batocera. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time in Batocera Nation. Bye.